Hey, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation, the only web series about the movies out there that dares to ask hard-hitting questions like, hey, why didn't Jason Voorhees try harder when he took Manhattan? He kind of phoned that shit in. Uh, yeah, he, was mm. he went away from that movie with no Manhattan. Yeah, he was mostly it's just took heavy. a boat. He just took a goddamn boat. There, there was no man. It's not, no. He fucked that up. Normally he's really good. No, but he, normally he's more. He's, he's more on point. But anyway, um, my name is Todd Anderson. I'm your host this week. This is Film Pig Steve Skelton. This is Film Pig Steve Fall. Hi, hello, hi. These are our special guests. This is Stephanie Hello. Markham. Hello. And this is Frank Stokes. Yay. Stephanie. Stephanie is an actress yeah. and a writer. Yep. Frank is a writer right. and a director. Right. They're both producers of independent films. Uh -huh. okay. Support indie films. Support, you guys, come on now. Support the indie you. films. They, uh, they did a movie together called Buttleman starring mm -hmm. John Hawks. I don't know if you know who that guy Academy is. Academy Award nominee. John yeah. Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. He's right. Famous. Yeah. And uh, they have had a very successful web series called God Inc. God, God Inc. Inc. People love very much. Um, they uh, recently uh, they put out this movie called Dog Catchers. Dog Catchers. Who's, who's in that? Who's in that? Dog movie? Catchers uh, stars Rusty Schwimmer, Ooh. friend of the show. Rusty, Ooh, friend of the nice. show. Good guy. It's a very funny. O T S. Yes, mm. and uh, and me. Acronym. So kudos to you guys for uh, working with Gingers. Yeah. A lot of it was challenging. Brain, it was a lighting issue. It's really right. difficult. Normally, right. just kill them with fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stick with the ancient Egyptian way of dealing with gingers. So that's it's, a good, it's, good call. It's, it's how the pilgrims did it. We're, we're trouble. But they, they stuck it out, and it was worth it because it's a very funny uh, movie. And because uh, you'll all be gone once you're killed yeah. by fire. It's true. So it's nice to have it's, like, it's like a time yeah. capsule. Right, Very right. true. Yeah. So then I said, yeah, we, if, like eventually it'll be like a freak show. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, going uh, around the country at festivals right now, so look out for it in your area. Um, and you're working on a feature That's with right. Rusty right now That's called right. uh, Wild Honey. Wild Honey. Nice. It's called Wild Honey, it's got Rusty Schwimmer, who's a great actress. Uh, I recommend seeing it, even though it's I- It's not even you, shot yet. It's even not shot, not and you yet. haven't seen it. Yeah, but look yeah. for it's it in the amazing. future. Wild yeah. Honey with Rusty Schwimmer, it'll be great. Um, a lot of people, and there's a lot of show to do, so mm -hmm. we've got to start the way we always start, with popcorn! More popcorn! Yeah. Yeah. Popcorn, yeah. popcorn. Yeah. popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. popcorn. Yeah. so Oh, mm. delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, you guys. Oh what? my God! What? There are so many movies coming oh, out oh, this God. weekend right. yeah, at, right. at the multiplexes, at the art houses, everywhere they're coming out. How do you choose which one to see? I don't know. Well, you have to talk to people who have very strong opinions about the oh. cinema. Now, we haven't seen these movies, no, we but we don't care. Yeah. We care about our opinions and forcing them down your throat. So it's time for Rash Judgments, where we tell you what you should see this fucking weekend. Steve Falk. You like cancer. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm on the fence about it. Do you like teen romance? Mm -hmm. Less You'll than cancer. You'll love yeah. The Fault in Our Stars. This is adapted from uh, someone's book, very famous <laughs> book, John Green, I believe. Uh, and it stars uh, Sh 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 Shailene Woodley, uh, <laughs> late of the uh, Divergent movie, uh, and uh, The Descendants. She was also on The Life of an American Pregnant Teen. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the ABC family, and uh, uh, she stars as a, as a, as a cancer girl um, who has uh, uh, tubes on her nose, and then she. But she's still cute. She, but yeah. she's still oh, cute yeah. and Beautiful. spunky. Yeah. Uh, her mo mom is Laura Dern, and she's very um, spunky too. Uh, and then she, uh, Shailene, Charlene, Shailene Woodley does meet a guy in a cancer support group, Ooh. and they fall in love despite both being you know ticking time bombs of cancer, and uh, then they have love. And they, they, what you didn't see in the trailer, but I know because I read the book, they, they, they're obsessed with the, like this book from a reclusive author, and they go and travel, and they meet him, and he's played by Willem Dafoe, who always makes oh, interesting choices, nice. um, maybe not in projects, but in acting. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, and they have, they, their lives are changed. So is that a pro, or? Only if you like the things I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, <clears throat> Stephanie Markham. Hey, I've got a review for you. What is it? Obvious Child. It's the movie that I couldn't get in to see at Sundance mm -hmm. because I, I'm nobody. <laughs> oh, that one. I'm nobody. 
It's not oh. the only movie that we couldn't get Don't into. Don't say you're nobody. You're somebody. Yeah. Somebody to someone. No, I think it looks rad. I mean, rad is not a word I usually say, but I like Jenny Slate. I think she's awesome. I think that she's funny and cute and bubbly and adorable. And it's... Mis- that sounds awful. It's awesome. <laughs> and she... Okay, so the movie I think is about... From the trailer, I surmised that the movie is about a girl who falls, uh, no, it doesn't fall. She's really fucking drunk. And then she like hooks up with this guy at a bar and who happens to be really handsome, fortunately. Um, Hollywood. Like J. Crew handsome. And they have some sex. And what do you know? She turns out pregnant. And what? then her life is a bunch of hijinks about being pregnant. But what I think... Pregnant hijinks. <clears throat> yeah. Pregnant. I, she got gassed in her belly. It's cool. <laughs> How do you handle being pregnant? How do you handle being when pregnant a millennial. when you're a millennial uh, hipster living in Brooklyn Heights? Yeah. I wonder like, that all the time. That's something you can tell me. I can relate to that. Is like, the Paul Simon song Obvious Child featured prominently in this picture? I wonder think. that too. Never been lonely. <laughs> Yeah. There's Never a lot of plaid. That's not Obvious Child, but yeah. Oh, that's not? No, that's no. born at the right time. <laughs> obvious Child's the one with the, the awesome drum. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Keep going, keep going. We're going to come you out. So There's a lot of plaid and a lot of beanies uh-huh. and a lot of Brooklyn. So it's not at all pretentious and it looks kind of funny. So that's a yes vote. That's a yes vote. I yes see vote. it. Despite, despite them snubbing you so famously. Yeah, they all say yes. Let's take a, let's take a break. Stick in the high road. Let's take, take a break road. from the art house and talk to Steve Skelton what? about yeah. a major studio release. Oh. Steve Skelton. What? Yes. My uh, rash judgment is for Edge of Tomorrow. Whoa. Whoa. It's a science fiction spectacular yes. that stars Tom Cruise yes. as mm-hmm. a soldier Woo. who is trapped in a futuristic segue. Yes. With and Emily Blunt. He, he, with Emily yeah. Blunt. They're both, all just, they're both, oh. and she's ripped, and yeah. she's uh, and punches yeah. stuff, yeah. and they run, and they yeah. shoot, but the twist is it's Groundhog, Groundhog Day, because they die, and they come back to life. It's the over same and over day, and, over. and then Tom Cruise does his same, what, I'm back face, yes. and runs in his, in his segue <laughs> again, and then there's oh. shooting, and it's by Doug Lyman, yes. the director of the first oh. Born movie. And Born. go. And go. And which is a great go film. and 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 Swingers. it's actually getting yeah it's, it's getting some buzz mm. cool. it's actually getting buzz, buzz. yes but only, only so Emily is this Blunt. a you're you saying go see it or not <clears throat> i don't know yes mm. there you have it edge of tomorrow yes Live, die rinse repeat, repeat. frank <laughs> stokes uh all right my rash judgment is about a film called willow creek oh willow uh, creek yes which is a Movie, I only know, uh, I watched the trailer, so <laughs> this is all I know about it is what's in the trailer, which is a couple people looking for Bigfoot. It's a found footage oh. kind of oh. horror movie. Wait, wait, wait and for it, though. There's, there's, it's actually interesting. Well, in it? it, well uh, they, uh, they're going up to the Pacific Northwest to look for Bigfoot in Northern California, and they get out into the woods, and they pitch a you know, tent, and they're in the tent, and then something scary is happening outside the tent, and they're holding the camera shaky like this. That's the trailer. The most interesting thing to me about the movie is that it's directed by Bobcat Goldthwait. Oh. There it is. That's that it. makes it intriguing. Okay. Otherwise, before that, when I just saw the trailer, it looked exactly like Blair Witch Project, which I'm not really one to say, oh, this movie looks exactly like this movie or whatever, but I mean, but you're it looked that. exactly like Well, well all found that. footage movies do tend to look like so Yeah, well, but especially found footage movies where people go out into the woods, into the dark, and, 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 and pitch a so tent, and then they're inside the tent. So what you're surmising by the director yeah. is it's going to have some sardonic, dark, Humorous. What? Yes. What? Some sort of weird dark comedy angle based That's on his I'm, previous. I'm book. a Bobcat Goldthwait fan. I yeah. enjoy and his Bigfoot pictures. is funny. Yeah. yeah. Bigfoot yeah. could be funny. So, I mean, I think it could be it's good. I'd, be, I'd see it because of that. Yeah. All right. So, there you go. That's Rash Judgments. Now, our guests are married. They're married what together. Are you gonna do? They mm-hmm. had a wedding and they got married and they pledged their love to each other. And at the same time, they produce. Movies together. That's crazy. crazy. So yeah. how it's does that work? It can be a very challenging thing. Spousal productions are difficult, uh, but they have the secrets to let you know if you're spousally and productiony, 
they're going to teach you how to do it right. Well said. So, yeah. <laughs> so I nailed that. That wasn't awkward. I nailed done. that. And uh, that. Wait, hold on. I got a text. It says, Roy! Hi, I'm director Francis Stokes. And I'm actress Stephanie Jane Markham. We make indie movies. And we're married. Sometimes when you're married and working together on set, it can lead to awkward situations. Like when Francis is directing me in a passionate love scene. But if you're professionals like us, you learn how to work through these issues in a positive way. If you're a married couple working together in the movies, the following behind the scenes footage from our latest project will show you exactly how to behave on set. Whew. Oh. Wow. wow. I've never done it sitting up before. Well, at my sixth grade dance, all the kids were making out in the chairs, but when I finally showed up with my date, there were no chairs left. So ever since then, I've only been able to perform sexually while sitting up in a chair. That's very quirky. <laughs> Cut. What? That was a good take, Frank. It was fine. It was fine. What then? It seemed okay. In your love scene, Todd needs you to be more passionate. When Todd mounted you, you just laid there. You made him do all the work. Mounted. Well, your script does say that I was overcome by his masculine power, whatever that means. Well, it doesn't mean just laying there like a cold fish. Back me up on this. I don't know. What do I pay you for? I'm not getting paid. Well, that's just dumb, Frank. My character wouldn't just lie oh. there. She would mount him. Hmm. OK. Oh, okay. wait. Oh, and then you can okay. do kind of a thing like. No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly like okay. that, Todd. All right. Exactly like this. Todd likes that. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Back to one. I don't know what you want from me, Frank. I want you to be realistic. Realistic? If I was realistic, Todd wouldn't last past the first take. Well, just do the words in the script. The script made any sense? I would. Well, oh, now it's my script? Like you had nothing to do with it? Why do you have to be like this? Why do you have to be like this? Ooh, honestly, this is because I wouldn't go to Seattle with you, isn't it? It has nothing to do with that, but it would be nice if I had a wife who supported me. Are you kidding me with it? You are kidding me with this right now. What do you think? I'm the one traveling alone next month while you stay at home without a care in the world. Oh, boo-hoo. Don't talk to me like that. Welcome to your first session. I'm Dr. Bingham. Uh, I think it's very courageous of you to come and seek counseling. So, uh, in any situation, the first step is always to identify the main source of conflict. Well, we have talked about it a lot, and we've realized that our main problem is with Todd. What? Todd's unprofessional behavior on our set has put an undue strain on our marriage. Our cameraman quit over it. What did I do? Why am I even here? Todd, try to be an adult about this. You're ruining our film. Um, I, I, I don't understand. Todd is not part of your relationship? Todd's an actor in our movie. Who's destroying our marriage. How am I doing that? Well, if that's the case, the simple solution, really, is to remove the obstacle. That's so simple. Wow, doctor, you're a genius. Todd, you're fired. Of course I am. Thanks a lot, doc. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that'll be $500. <clears throat> Do you take SAG insurance? No. What about after insurance? No. Do you take Discover? No. Amex? No. No. Do you have an ATM in your lobby I or something? I do not. I do not. Oh. Are you Vons Club? I, I have a Vons card. I'm just wondering. I didn't realize I was... You read the sign. I saw the sign. Yeah. I assumed it, the couple was paying for the their. Oh no, the, the the problem always pays. Ah, uh, so there. I hope you that have was it. educational. Yeah, there you have it. Why so, are we why are, why are we shooting uh, an indie movie on a green screen? That's a good question. Uh, a somewhat ukulele heart is takes place in the mind as it, much as it does in somewhat reality. Somewhat in the mind. I really needed the freedom somewhat. of green screen. Can, I, can I just ask you, why is it a somewhat ukulele heart? <laughs> Well, it's not really a somewhat ukulele heart. It's a somewhat <laughs> yeah. ukulele okay, yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you actually yeah. aren't supposed to say somewhat out loud. If you do, I'll get It's like Anthony's song, Moving Out. 
Yes, right. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Pride in the name in the of name love. Of love. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice. All right. So well we'll let, look for that film uh, coming up. And uh, and incidentally, nothing to do with you, yeah. ladies whatsoever. I won't be in so the far. film. I've been replaced uh, <laughs> digitally. Digitally. Yeah. Digitally. yeah. 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 Hi, I'm uh, Hamster. Because of the green screen. We can do that. Um, I don't know about you guys. I've had a lot of fun. It's been amazing. Uh, I feel like it's been there's lovely. been a, lo a lot of show. I've had better. A lot of show. We, it, yeah, yeah, well, you're it's... hard to please. <laughs> she's a hard woman. Unless you're Jenny Slate. Right? Yeah, well, well, she's right. yeah, she's like like bubbly she's and wonderful. Then, yeah, Charming. Yeah. If you're middle-aged and white and in a garage in Van Nuys, yeah, then not so uh, much. she's nah, nah. But I love uh, that shit. So, yeah, no, yeah, Frank's into it, but yeah. Steph is uh, he's not into Somewhat. it. Somewhat. Uh, but what we did we do? No, no. I mean, we, we introduced everybody. Yeah, we had the whole right? start of the show. We and then we the uh, clinked glasses, yep, right? Clinking. And, and then we had popcorns. Yep. Yep. And then uh, we had a camera malfunction. We did it all again. Yeah, yeah. we had to do multiple yeah. takes. Rinse, the... repeat. Oh my God. Oh my, it's just like Edge of Tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, we're on Edge of Tomorrow. Which is Hi, like... welcome to Film Page. I'm your host. Um, and after that, we uh, did rash judgments. Yeah. And people talked about movies. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, uh, there was a very educational uh, sketch. I did a bit before that. There was we a great were, bit before that. Oh, that's right. He yeah. did a great Off bit. Where, like he um, got a text and he said, "Roll it." The text said, "Roll it." And we had, we had no idea. No one knew he was going to do that. Was coming. Yeah. It was improv. I think you planned it out before. Like, no, you know, no, I came up with it. Like, like, literally came like five in. seconds before. Oh, oh, amazing. My God. This amazing. Is why Are people still watching this at this point? Nope. Probably not. They stop watching within three minutes. That's why we can just do whatever we want. Yeah. That's why we're going to pull out our wingers. Blowjobs. Yeah. So uh, that's the show. Look <laughs> for uh, dog I mean, catchers at a film festival near you. I'd like yes. to qualify. Uh, look for uh, an FX <laughs> show called You're the Worst, premiering in July. July, July 17th. 17th. And before that, watch Orange is, is the New, new Black. Black. Yeah, you can watch Orange is I, the New I write Black. On that. He writes on that. Yeah. Uh, but on You're the, the Worst is. You got to get your Netflix. June 6th. You're Lots Netflix of lesbians. Streaming. Yeah, You're the Worst is all <laughs> all his brain, so it's, it's his funny brand. and weird. And, uh, and, and uh, he's. Uh, what are you doing? I'll be at E3. He'll be at E3. Go to E3 and look for Skelton. Just uh, start yelling for me. Yeah, just like, go to E3 go and go, to Convention Steve Scott! Center and start yelling. And, Steve and, Scott! And, and Todd's and You're the Worst. I mean, and, You're the and Worst. Dog catchers and dog mm catchers -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and commercials on television. Todd's and commercials. So don't fast forward through commercials. Watch them all in the You're hopes You're stealing of television me. when you fast forward. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, stop being dicks about it. Um, yeah, steel porn, not television. So, uh, thank you, Frank Stokes, Stephanie Markham. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having thank us. You. Uh, was that our, our first couple guest? It was our I first think it couple was, guest. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, guests who have been boning. And you're last. They're, they're, we know that they have, I mean, we hope that <laughs> they, they have fornicated. Have We're assuming. We're making they're, the assumption. They're probably, after this, going to go home and fuck like crazy, because this is an aphrodisiac. Yeah. It is. <laughs> this show, Nothing like yeah. hanging out with 40-year-olds <laughs> in a garage at Van Nuys to make the girls warehouse. horny. It's, it's Van Nuys. Uh, it'll, it'll get your motor running. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have some cool role-playing ideas for you. But huh? We'll talk, yeah, we'll talk about it. Uh, 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 until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. That's it!